Overtiers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. Marlon Pritchard and Simon Baldwin and Exterminator. And the Edinburgh boys, Corporal Gary Cairns on the left, Sergeant Graham Horn in the middle and Flying Officer Peter J. Bennett with them. And the fan club. So who's on duty? Well, for us, Dead Metal is. And Sergeant Bash of the army Three. to get the RAF into line. Activate. Let's see if Exterminator can chase them down. I didn't think so before they could get up to spinning speed. Exterminator, I think, has missed its chance. I think they've missed their chance. Typhoon 2, too quick across the arena floor. And look at the spinning now. Listen to the whirring. Can you hear it? It's frightening. It's like the noise that the doodlebug bombs used to make in the war. And it comes in and smacks into Exterminator. And that's good strength. The outer armor of Exterminator withstanding the first blow. Ships of metal fly away across the arena floor. I like the look of Typhoon too. But Exterminator digging in, trying to cut down the angle and now uh, running away to hit the pit release. What's happened to the disc? Exterminator's disc is not working. One of the Typhoon 2 attacks must have crunched the electronics. The disc isn't working. I think actually the drive chain has come away. Exterminator now, impotent. Typhoon senses they can come in for the kill. Exterminator in trouble. Oh, buckled, look at that. And ripped. You can hear the ripping of metal. I'm sure from where you sit. And look at the Exterminator boys. Brilliant so far, Marlon and Simon. About to head out. Unless Typhoon does something stupid and spins into the ball pit. Very nearly bouncing off into the pit. They're going to have to watch out there. Captain of the team, flying officer Peter Bennett, looks at his controls. Typhoon 2 bounces away. They're trying to stay out of trouble. Sergeant Bash gives them a flick of flame. Exterminator still in this fight. Very much so. Oh, it's Typhoon 2 smashing the smithereens part of the arena. Cease. And Exterminator as well. I think they've had to call a cease because, yes, the arena wall was damaged. Jane's going round to have a look. I've never seen damage in it like this before. Exterminator hopes bashed. Our arena smashed. Is it quite dangerous, Matt? It's not quite dangerous. It's extremely dangerous. Are you in it's danger sitting here? Well, no. We've got two layers. It only went through one layer. That layer it went through, they're both the same thickness. But remember, we've got the whole of the cage, the box, which has got the other layer, plus all the supports of it. Um, I wouldn't be sitting here otherwise. I have to say, I, with all the robots we've had, this is potentially the most dangerous. OK, what's going to happen now? The arena has been repaired. The judges are going to allow Typhoon 2 to get up to the spinning speed that it was at before the arena was crushed. The teams are OK. Three, two, one. Activate. And we're off and underway for the remaining time of this grand final battle. Oh, and as soon as we've started again, I think we'll have stopped again. Because for me, Exterminator has just been beaten. One more smash from Typhoon 2 seemed to have done it. The house robot's checking. Is there a visible decrease in the spinning speed of Typhoon 2? Oh, there will be now, because Marlon has accepted defeat. Well, terrific competitors fighting in their fifth wars. They've never been this far before. Great improvements. Worthy, worthy opposition, but beaten. And now, of course, oh, that's nice, down in the pit. Save it any more severe damage. It's had enough, hasn't it? Cease. It's not the championship decider itself. That place goes to Typhoon.